Alright my captains, so today we are going to talk about what you should be doing right now in the game as a new free to play player. Uh, and the reason why I am making this video is because I saw that some of you guys have started the game newly because of the Evangelion event and you enjoyed the game actually and you want to continue it. So I want to help you with this video uh, to learn what uh, you should focus on in the game so that you don't uh, uh, waste your crystals on something useless and so that uh, hopefully this video can make your gameplay experience much better than what it would have been without it hopefully uh, and uh, if you are a pay to win player uh, you are going to get actually some useful uh, tips from this video but it's not going to be as useful for you as uh, for the free to play players because most of, most of the time you are going to decide to actually buy crystals instead of grind crystals <laughs> <laughs> and this is the main reason for why this video is actually mainly for the free-to-play players But of course every player can actually take benefit benefit from it Anyways without any further ado, let us get started and uh, first of all the main streams of crystals that you can get and Here we have two main streams for the crystals. The first one is the story chapters where you have actually different chapters that has different stages and each stage you clear is going to give you a certain amount of, of crystals which is very good actually and it is going to help you a lot and then the boxes as well are going to give you extra crystals as well depending on uh, if you actually clear a certain amount of challenges so this is going to be a very good stream of uh, crystals in case you want actually to grind some crystals and if you are a new player I, uh, I uh, I suspect that you aren't actually so uh, deep in the story that you don't have many uh, chapters to do as you can see I don't have anything to do <laughs> I am completely done with everything because I am a super OG player actually but if you are a new player then you should have a pretty good amount of these chapters uh, still looked actually that you can farm crystals from and help yourself uh, to get some good weapons and good stigmatas uh, or valkyries i am going to talk about what you should be focusing on as well later in this video uh, anyways the second one is actually the chronicles and as you can see here there are actually normal stages and there are hard stages so uh, or challenge mode and here in the challenge mode you can see that every single stage that you clear is going to give you actually 30 crystals and i believe if i am not mistaken i didn't play it for a very long time ago actually so excuse me if I am mis uh, if uh, I, uh, I am giving you wrong information here, but if I am not mistaken, uh, the story mode as well gives you actually 10 crystals for each challenge that you clear. So basically up to 30 crystals for for the for each stage because each stage has three uh, three different. Uh, uh, three different challenges anyways uh, it it is going to give you at least five crystals for each uh, challenge that you clear but i believe that it was actually 10 anyways uh, the box here as well is going to give you an extra 30 again uh, just like the story chapters so basically you get uh, uh, even more crystals and this one doesn't have many stages to do uh, so basically it is easy to do and you are going to get the boxes easily and you'll be able actually to get a good amount of crystals however the first one has a pretty good amount of stages uh, not in the challenge mode but in the uh, story chapter as you can see here we have a good a good amount actually of uh, stages so basically this is going to get to allow you to get a pretty good amount of crystals which is very good for the free to play players again because this is actually uh, 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 the second stream of uh, uh, crystals that you should be actually focusing on now there is one last thing that you can get actually from the chronicles which is in the challenge mode if you go to the files here you can see that uh, there is actually some challenges and if you clear them you are done with them each chronicle is going to give you actually 150 crystal and it is going to give you either a weapon or a stigmata depending on the uh, on the chronicle and those weapons and stigmatas are very useful actually they aren't extremely broken uh, they aren't like the pay to win uh, gacha weapons or stigmatas but they are still very useful and if you are a free to play player and you are a new player even if you are a pay to win player actually if you are a new player those weapons are going to help you at the beginning of the uh, of the game 
uh, but they aren't going to be as useful uh, later on but since you are a new player those weapon, uh, weapons are going to be uh, to make actually your experience uh, much easier which is which is going to help you a lot anyways uh, the second uh, or the third stream of income for the crystals is actually the super string dimension in the super string dimension depending on which uh, on which uh, type you are actually you are going to get different uh, amount of cr uh, crystals and it is mostly two days long actually so basically you will clear it and if after two days you are going to get your rewards and you can get up to 400 uh, crystals but that's not for the free to play players because not even the OG free to play players can actually reach there unless they are extremely lucky with the crystal with the uh, equipments and uh, valkyries uh, so basically this isn't for us but you can get up to 400 crystals from the uh, super string every two or three days so this is a pretty huge amount but if you are a free to play player actually you most likely are going to get uh, 230 or 320 or something around that but it is still actually a very good amount of crystals as well every two days and uh, you are going to get it actually for clearing only four stages uh, as good uh, as you can actually so pretty much you can see that you are going to get a very good amount for nearly no job and then last but not least we have actually the uh, the event stages as you can see there is actually the new century which is the evangelion event which most of you are actually here for uh, and you did it most likely uh, as you can see we have the story chapters here which gives you actually crystals and then we have even the drill event which gives you different materials that are going to help you actually with the game uh, the, the drill uh, event is going to give you actually the materials that helps you with the event and then the event is going to give you actually the materials that helps you with the game and basically the challenges are actually the ones that gives you the materials the most important materials actually for you to be able to get some really useful uh, some really useful things in the game anyways those are the streams the main streams for the uh, for the crystals actually uh, you can do the tri trial play as well which is going to give you a good amount of crystals as well but these are actually uh, stages that doesn't get reset uh, until the next update or at least mid update so basically they aren't so useful but you still can do it can do them actually and get some uh, some amount of uh, crystals from them uh, but they aren't a mainstream of uh, crystals there are also the uh, events as well if we take a look at them uh, the events here, the uh, events for every new event actually, event missions, or there are also the missions here as well uh, for the uh, daily missions which, which are going to give you a good amount of crystals but it's not that huge. As you can see here we, ha we are going to get 5, here 5 that's 10 and here we have 5 another 5 yeah. uh, so basically 15 and here we have 10 so that's 25 and then 15 so basically 40 crystals you are going to be able to get from these uh, missions uh, they it's not a huge amount and it's not something that is worth the grind to be honest but it's still better than nothing so if you are a free to play player who really want actually to grind every single crystal that uh, he he or she can actually in order to be able to get uh, the equipments and the valkyries that you want uh, this is another way to get some crystals daily and this is on a daily basis so basically if you multiply it by 30 that makes it uh, actually 1200 every month so you can see that it is actually a pretty good amount of crystals it's not something that uh, you actually just ignore completely but it's it's something that is going to give to take from you actually some job and uh, basically it's not going to reward you as good as uh, it is taking actually from you so basically that's why i am not putting it in the uh, in the mainstream income uh, anyways now let's talk about what you should be focusing on right now as a free as a new free to play player so basically if we go to the supply here come on 
<laughs> didn't I praise on it? Okay. <laughs> we have the Durm supply, which is a free-to-play uh, supply. Uh, and you can get actually the card from different uh, shops. You can actually check that for yourself. Uh, check the shop uh, and you will see actually some different places that you can buy the tickets from. And you can get one for free from the... Uh, from the login bonus as well so i wouldn't recommend you to spend on this banner actually because it is mostly a free to play banner and you are going to be able to summon on it whether you you spend crystals or not so i would recommend you actually to focus on other banners instead now the second one is actually the equipment banner and unfortunately this one isn't a free to play one although it has actually tickets but unfortunately those tickets aren't a free to play tickets so basically you can't buy them from any event and you can't actually uh, acquire them in any other way other than buying them so that's why they aren't actually free to play tickets now Next we have the event and the event has some uh, some uh, Valkyries that are event Valkyries so basically as you can see here we have actually uh, uh, Asuka and then we have the equipments for Asuka as well so basically here this one is a very very good Valkyrie and uh, if you really like her which most of you I, I believe does actually uh, so uh, you can summon for her and she is going to be very useful for you if especially if you are a new player because uh, at the beginning of the game it she is going to be incredibly useful actually then when you reach higher and higher she is going to droop a little bit but she is still going to be very good even against level 80 uh, bosses so basically when, when you when you become actually level 80 captain uh, level uh, she is still going to be useful, but not as useful as other Valkyries. So if you really want her, summon for her, she does deserve actually uh, your crystals. But uh, I would recommend you actually to only get her to uh, double S rank and instead of focusing on getting her to triple S rank, try to get her weapon and stigmatas because they are much more important for her. Uh, getting her to triple S rank is going to help her, but it's not going to help her as much as uh, getting her weapon and stigmata set. Uh, these uh, equipments are going actually to make her much more uh, strong and much better actually uh, than uh, what uh, the triple S rank is going to make her actually. So if you are going to go for Asuka, focus on getting her to double S rank and then make sure to get her either her weapon at least or her weapon and stigmata set uh, because they are actually much more important for her as i said before than getting her to triple s rank now in case you don't want to focus on asoka what i would recommend you to focus on are actually harshers not any s rank valkyrie but harshers and as you can see we have right now one if you want actually to focus on her which is the harsher of reason bronia and she is extremely useful so if you need actually a, a, a mecha type valkyrie who is a good a really good valkyrie actually you can get her try try to get her uh, and she is going to, to help you so much in the game like she is incredibly amazing she is very very useful especially if you get lucky and you get her weapon as well i don't know if we have its focused supply right now no unfortunately we don't so basically uh, once i believe that we are going to get it for free in the bottle pass shop uh, if i am not mistaken we are going actually to get her weapon uh, and basically uh, it is going to be nearly for free it's not completely for free but it is nearly for free actually if you do your job uh, very well in this uh, battle pass and you get some good amount of uh, not the orange lucian but uh, the other lucian uh, the purple one you are going to be able actually to get the weapon from here and you won't need to even spend uh, crystals on it if i am not mistaken we will get it actually in the next version update so keep that in mind and if you want actually to farm her make sure to farm her now if you want to focus on uh, uh, god kiana or harsher of void kiana uh, i would recommend you to wait actually for the next version update because you are going to get her and her weapon for free from an event so basically 
basically you don't even have to spend a, a dime on her so i would recommend you to uh, to keep your crystals and not summon on this banner in case you are focusing on her uh, on harsher of void kiana and uh, basically uh, after this one disappear we are going to get another harsher which is the most important harsher so what i would recommend you to focus on right now and save your crystals for is actually harsher of sanctions for hua because she is the newest harsher she is incredibly powerful she is support and dps she is just everything and she is a very unique valkyrie as well because she has a very unique uh, way of fighting and she has three different weapons so if you get bored from the first one you can use the second one and this, instead of the second one you can use the third one so you can see how amazing she is actually she is a phenomenal valkyrie and uh, believe me you are going to enjoy using her a lot so what i would recommend you mostly to focus on is actually harsher of sanctions for hua but in case you don't like her focus on other harshers because they are going to be much better for you actually than other valkyries now obviously we all prefer different things so in case you see actually an s rank valkyrie that you like that you really really like uh, it's okay to summon on her uh, expansion supply because she is going to be good and uh, S rank Valkyries tends to be actually useful for a good amount of time unlike the A rank Valkyries who droops in value very fast uh, so basically uh, she is going to uh, if, if you summon for S rank Valkyries they are going to be good for you but they aren't going to be as good as Harshers because the Harshers are the uh, has the highest value in the game and that's why they are going to be much better actually than the normal S rank Valkyries but as I said before if you really like the Valkyrie and you like her gameplay then by all means summon for her and I really hope that you get them bef uh, before you spend uh, a lot of crystals on them uh, and the last thing that I want to tell you right now is actually uh, the fact that when you get a Valkyrie don't make my mistake don't make my mistake when you get a Valkyrie try your best to get her weapon her pay to win weapon I know that you are a free to play player and I am as well um, I was doing a very big mistake when I started the game which is just getting the Valkyrie without focusing on her weapon and that was a very big mistake because it didn't give me the maximum potential of the Valkyrie and that made the Valkyrie completely useless so when you are focusing on a Valkyrie try your best actually to get her weapon as well together with her because without her weapon she is half valkyrie she isn't a complete valkyrie and that's why i would recommend you to make sure that when you focus on a valkyrie and you really want to get her try to get her weapon together with her because that is what is going to give you actually her maximum potential other than that you are going to get a half valkyrie and she is going to actually to be uh, useless and you won't enjoy using her as much as you would have used uh, enjoyed actually using her if she would have been completely uh, as as strong as you expected her to be so that's the last tip actually from this video i hope that this video was useful and helps you to uh, to enjoy the game more and focus your crystals uh, on using them to uh, get actually what is useful for you and with that being said, that was everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything you know about Hunkai Impact 3rd. And with that being said, see you as always in the next video of Hunkai Impact.